a tropical welcome back to Lucas Island for episode three. And with me, Mr. Silly P. It's time for a bit of a test. The fields that I own, that I had stuff on, I say own, <laughs> are harvested. So the two wheat fields and the oat field, the, obviously the barley fields had already been done. I picked up all the straw off of one of the fields. Let's check, check the map because I can't remember the numbers. Uh, so yeah, one I've got all of the straw swath off of. 20, I haven't picked the straw swath up yet. 21 was oats. That, I didn't leave a straw swath, I turned it off. And two, oh, I've got oats on there, haven't I? Oh, I need to go back and harvest that one as well then. I might leave a straw swath on on that one because it's right by the side. It would be easier to do... Maybe. So as far as straw, we've got 51,177 litres on hand at the moment. So the test of the nail, before I can do any um, widening of the land bridge I've got already, or making any new ones, so we can do a bit of island hopping, see if we can get around a few of these islands, see what else we've got available. I've changed the economy setting to hard. I'm curious, we're going to use one of the tall trees, because I think that's what we did last time, was the tall trees. We were getting just a, over 13,000. Do it at a slight angle. These do have a tendency to hop, I've noticed, when I cut them. Yeah, they do that, and they don't go the way you thought they were going to go. Anyway, not a problem. I think it's because they're quite tightly packed together. So, I'm going to chop this up into bits. And we'll put it through. Why is that not working? That's weird. Um. God. It's like it's not recognising the end of it. It's... There we go. Those just need to be trimmed a little bit. Uh, chunks, I probably do need to do some measuring at some point, but I'll do it roughly what I think. The other test as well is going to be to chuck one in whole. I'll chuck, do this one in chunks, we'll throw it in and see what we get, and then I'll um, try another one whole, and we'll see if it's the same, because if it's the same, then it's absolutely pointless me chopping them all up. Generally speaking, normally you get less if you throw a whole one in, but again, it's worth a test while we're here. I know these tests have been conducted before. I've even conducted these tests before. But it can change from map to map. Prices vary from map to map. As to what you get for a full tree. Uh, you might notice my HUD scale is a lot smaller. I was thinking the other day actually when I was doing um, a little bit of snow runner and I haven't really done much in quite a while. And I was thinking about like doing thumbnails. Now on PC there is a mod for HUD toggle on this. On SnowRunner you can go into the settings and you can turn the HUD off. So I thought, it's one of those things on here, on FS, I've always wondered why they never did a HUD toggle. If you start on the main start game screen, you can adjust the scale, so you can go from 100% up to 150%, so you can make it a lot bigger, or you can go down to 50%, but you can't turn the HUD off obviously the help menu and I've got my side panel plugged in I can turn the help menu on and off or I can go to the help menu from in the main menu by going in through here and then come across and I can turn my help window on and off but there's nothing to turn the HUD on and off so I thought well for doing thumbnails maybe if I just made the HUD smaller it gives me kind of more screen and I haven't got to do as much mucking around in Photoshop to remove things and that kind of thing that said, until my new glasses come, and yes, I have had my eyes tested, finally. <laughs> I had them done just over a week, was it a week ago? About a week ago. I've had my eyes tested, and yes, I do need glasses. Uh, yes, I do need them for the computer work. I need them for various different things. My eyesight has got a lot worse. So that should improve greatly. Although, at the moment, because I'm sitting at my, my kind of workstation where I do my recording, I can see no problem at all. If, when I go away, which I do every now and again with my good lady wife, 
and we go you know to the barn or wherever we're going to go and stay and i take my stuff with me i'm normally sitting across the other side of a room to the tv having the hud this scale would be awful i wouldn't be able to see a thing it would be absolutely pointless so i'm not quite sure really i might just have to bite the bullet and accept the fact i've got to um just have to do it the way it, i've been doing it all this time just using photoshop to just take out the bits i don't want which you know it's frustrating but i don't know why and it didn't dawn on me before and also because you have to do it from the main menu it's not like you can um adjust the hud size from in the main menus here we can't do it from the, the in-game menu sorry main menu and in-game menus there's no setting on here to change it in here which would again make life a lot easier if you could just jump in adjust it and you know obviously that's only a kind of if you're a youtuber content creator kind of thing it's only a worry that you're going to have if you do that um obviously for eyesight settings there's colorblind modes and all those kind of things but first world problems i totally understand that but it can reduce the amount of time i need to spend editing and stuff it all helps come on let's go that way otherwise you're not going to be in the trigger Sorry, this is taking way too long. So I'm just curious on hard mode just how low the price will be. If it will, I'm assuming if you change the economy mode. I know it changes all the prices and, and stuff for what you get paid at, in the sell points and all that kind of thing. I don't think I've ever really looked at it with regard to lumber before. Let's see if it does all of those, shall we? 11,590. Didn't really make a huge amount of difference. And I, I can't... I, there's no other... There's no really extremely hard setting or anything like that. Now again, there were a few comments left saying, well, if you're on a desert island and there's nobody else there, um, who are you paying? <laughs> or who's paying you? Or, would you know, it's... You're, you've got money going in when you cut down a tree for the sawmill, but who's paying you? again as i said in the previous episode you kind of have to just go with it because there's not a lot i can do about that it's the game mechanics you know i i could i suppose cut all these trees down and then in editing have no money or you know i'm not quite sure how else i'd go about it but then unfortunately from the other side then people will be saying well hang on a minute you've got all this stuff and you haven't paid for any of it so you know i i don't know the best way unfortunately that's the the difficulty with doing a desert island <laughs> kind of idea is um the financial side of things is a little bit tricky to um to deal with but anyway I'm, I'll, I'll do my best that's all i can do so what i'm going to do now is cut down a few more trees i'm going to uh, widen my land bridge i've got already then we'll go down to the southern part of the island and we're going to build a new one out and we're going to explore because there's other bits of equipment i need we'll see so let's get some more trees down let's see if this one skips We'll be cutting a load more down over at the camp area because that's where the log cabin's going to be but that won't be in this episode, I don't think. It's almost like we lose a bit of the tree. I don't know if the tree hops or whether we lose a bit of it. I'm not quite sure what happens, but it's a bit peculiar, isn't it, when it does that? I could... I thought... The... Whoa! Now that's going to be an interesting test. Is it actually in the trigger or not? Let's sell the whole thing if it is. Yeah, 903. For an entire tree? No. It needs to be in pieces. That's not good. That was a waste of a tree. Never mind. Not quite sure why that catapulted over there, but... Please don't do it again. He 
These are unpredictable, aren't they? The old palm trees. With a few more palm trees cut down, it's time to extend. That's Island Top. I'm curious to see what that building is. And the closest point I think is going to be this bit over here. Time to begin! You know what? I think we might be there. We are. So the next, when I've cut some more trees down, the next build out is going to be out to that one. That's a bit of a gap, isn't it? Well, it needs to be done. Just have to cut down some more trees. And then I'm not sure how these connect up. I'll have to check. And that, I'm being totally honest with that. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, uh, actually, they connect up. It's just on from there, I'm not sure about it. Now, this way, let's go and see what's happening here, shall we? There's definitely a building. I suppose with enough money as well. We could extend, it, not just land bridges, but we could extend these out, reclaim... Did I mention this in the first episode or the second episode? I'm trying to remember if I've mentioned it before. I watched a programme years ago. Now, I'm hoping I'm not misremembering or I, I dreamt it. That the airport in... Is it Tokyo? No, where is it? It's in Japan. One of the main airports is completely built on reclaimed, reclaimed land. I'm pretty sure it is. They, they kind of just dumped into the sea and into the sea and built up. I'm sure it is. I'll have to double check that. Am I misremembering? Oh man, the more time I'm spending doing this, the more I'm just enjoying the whole... Just the thought of going somewhere like this. And I love the outdoors. I did all the stuff with cadets as a cadet and an instructor. And the whole survival thing. We used to do survival weekends. We used to do all sorts of, you know, bivy building and fire building. And I love all of that. The whole thought of, you know, obviously, as long as you can, you know, as long as you can get food <laughs> and, and water, you're okay. But, I don't know, just the... I don't know, probably being cooped up is what's doing it. So, we've got a log cabin, we've got some kind of facility, whatever it is. got vats, a cabin, barrels, a machine, that's a, ah, we have a, well I say a vehicle, <laughs> we kind of have a vehicle, it does have a rear hitch, mind you, we have, oh we've got the little log trailer haven't we, barrels, I wonder if this is some kind of like, still kind of, Brewery is probably not the best way of putting it. Moonshine establishment? 
potentially. On some kind of scale, by the look of it, you imagine having that much of it. Mind you, that looks like it's been here quite a while. Okay. We've got this we could use. Although, you know, it's got straps on the back. I'm pretty sure with a bit more cutting of wood, let's get his barrels off, we could use that. That's got to be faster than getting anywhere. Whoops. That's got to be faster to get around on that than it is on the on the crawler. Let's get that barrel off. Although, actually, I wonder if these barrels have got anything in them. That could help, one, with those cold nights, and two, starting fires, potentially. Depends how strong it is. Okay. Don't think we can't get into this, can we? Don't think so. Nope. Okay. So from here, are we joined up? I think we joined up. Let's start this up, shall we? This is just a fully just put together. Well, that doesn't. Oh, I say it doesn't want to move. It says it. I love the sound of that. It says it does 31 miles an hour. That's definitely faster than we've been going so far. Now I have to be careful and check everywhere, in amongst the trees and whatever we've got. How far can we go? So it's a reef of sorts, just obviously not a coral reef, but... Still exploring, still adventuring. <clears throat> we have done a couple of fields. But this will certainly expand our potential yeah, I mean, if we, like I said, with enough money, extending some of these out, we could put fields on, I say fields, they're very sandy ground, but we could put fields on all sorts of bits, couldn't we? More shipping, another facility of some description. It looks biogas related. Mind you, we've got, what, nothing? Oh, mind you, though, if this takes... Straw, we've got straw, if it takes straw, of course. We've got no mowers to cut grass. There's loads of grass everywhere, though. That's the thing, isn't it? If we can start getting stuff shipped in, grass. We've got loads of grass. Grass and hay shouldn't be a problem, if we can get a tether as well. I wonder... Greenhouses. Greenhouses. Right, I need to check that. Of course it doesn't. <laughs> the one thing I've got loads of. Loads of straw. No, it doesn't take straw. Okay. So greenhouses is great. Now again, the pigs don't produce manure. I need manure. Well, I need water as well. I need manure, which I've got none of. This could definitely help out with feeding myself. And finances. And we have... What's a container? Not very big, but it does mean we can get fresh water. Oh, why? What we've got to do now then is check the little pond, lake. I don't really want to do seawater, and I wouldn't have thought, well, I don't know, maybe it will do seawater. Right, let's take this back. We'll get the crawler back. I need to think about the biogas plant thing. What are we going to do? I mean, at an absolute push, I could do grass. 
if I've got mowers, which I haven't at the moment. I need to be able to plant. We we have got to soil. The, the, the next thing, so we've got water, that's great. We need, maybe I can eat coconuts. If I can find some coconuts, we'll be absolutely fine. I need to be able to get communications up. If we can get communications up, we can then start getting stuff brought in, potentially. We have got this now. This has got straps as well, so maybe we can put logs on the back of that. That little log trailer we've got, it hooked up to this, so it should hook up to the little log trailer. I mean, the biogas plant, we'll put that on hold. That's something for further down the line, but we have got it. Got it. We have got it. We have got it. There is a cell point here at the... Um, still... Um, moonshine lab, we'll call it. Island Grog. And depending on what that takes, we have got wheat, we have got oats. If it takes either of those, that's okay. I was really hoping that would take straw. Oh, mind you though, when we did the first um, look around, when we, hit, when we hit the beach on day one, or say day one, yesterday, that barn, not barn, building, the livestock market type building, there were bales in there, weren't there? They weren't all straw. If there's hay bales in there, mind you, they're going to need to be shredded. If it takes hay, that might work. I'm going to check that out too. So we need to check out the water situation with this. Oh, that's a bit bumpy. Yes, yeah, so we've got a cell point here. Right underneath the... That looks fantastic, doesn't it? The palm silhouette. Water. Water is the next check. It's a bit of a drive. But that's okay. A <laughs> little... Up, 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 up. So we've got 20 grand left. I suppose we could start extending out that way. We're going to run out of money before I think we get across it though. Because we had 60 odd. And it's cost us a big old chunk just to get across here. That gap from there to there. That actually does look wider. Okay, I need the water source. So the only thing with this, this must have a really low horsepower because it doesn't like the hills too much. It's weird, I think I'm misrem misremembering with it. Oh, I could give, give water to the pigs as well, can't I? If I can get this to work. over that side all oh, these little sandy tracks everywhere okay so if I now hang on though the greenhouses right so I've got again I've got so into the habit of if I do anything greenhouses oh and the, the vegetable patches because I'm always doing things, if I do greenhouses, if I do, or with the vegetable patches, if I do fruit trees, if I do anything like that, I always do both. So I'll always do water and manure. Because the manure normally doubles the payment. But all they need is water to start off with. So actually all of those, the little gardens, the greenhouses, it's going to be a, a, well, quite a few trips back and forth, isn't it? because this is only a small tank. Now, how close does this need to be? Because it's actually quite deep to get into it. Do it from the side, or do I need to... Whoa. 
that was quick. Thousand, oh, okay, thousand liters. This is going to be a bit of a bit of a slog, but let's check out the little gardens first. Let's get some produce on the way. I could do with the water source out by the greenhouses, really, but that would require some kind of desalination plant. But this works. And then manure can come later. Potentially. Yes, no. Yes. Oh dear. So we have some things growing. Are there things I can eat? <laughs> yes. We've got carrots, cabbage. Ooh, red cabbage or purple cabbage. Is that figs? Is that figs? Oh, tomatoes are so figs. That would be a bit exotic, wouldn't it? Ooh, figs. Okay. Oh man, I'm going to have to do a load of trips backwards and forwards, aren't I? So the next thing's going to be, if we can sort out communications, we can get things delivered, a bigger water tank, but we've got a water tank. So once I've done a couple of these, put some water in each of them, I've got water for me. That's what the next thing, checked off the list. Potentially by doing that, and if we can get some water to the greenhouses, that'll be some food in some description. Now I need to construct a log cabin, um, some wash house type facilities. It's not charging, is it? No. And yeah, communication. But no, I need power, so I need to construct some kind of wind turbine, windmill, solar panels. Might be a little bit beyond my capabilities. Unless I can superheat sand and make some kind of glass panel. But then making photovoltaic cells might be a bit tricky on a desert island. <laughs> Just maybe a little bit. Excellent. these actually take though let's just open that up fill water level oh okay a thousand eight is only 33 percent so these are going to take two more loads each than the greenhouses wow okay that's not great i wonder then about use the back of this and do some logs load them onto the back of this mind you actually if I'm going to cut down trees around my actual camp area I'm not going to, need to transport them am I I'm going to see you in a little while because this is going to take a little while I'll do these first, and what I'll do, we'll take a load out to one of the greenhouses. That's four greenhouses. <laughs> That's quite a drive, isn't it? I mean, this is going faster than any other vehicle I've got. The uh, wheelbarrow is 11 miles an hour, the crawler is 12 miles an hour. This will go at a whopping 31 if it picks up enough speed. It just takes a bit of time, but we'll get there. Certainly quicker than going any other way.
Actually, you know what I could do? While we're at it, I've got some timber I cut down. I've got a few bits of wood here and there. With a bit of planing and a bit of... Jiggery pokery. Maybe we can convert this flatbed to a cargo bed. Then if I grab some oats or... Actually, you know what I need to do is check and see what that sell point takes. Uh, it's the local inn one, I think. Not just potatoes. Potatoes, sugar beet and sugar cane. Oh no, wheat and barley. We have got some wheat. So what we'll do is deliver some of that. And then maybe we can work out how to make some grog if there's not any in the uh, in those barrels. Let's convert this over. Don't know how much the conversion will be. There must be some tools in here. Oh, that was the other thing I need to do. Bring the crawler over here and I need to do some work on it. Because we need to repair it. It's in a bit of a state. Right, bear with me a second. Okay. That was a couple of grand. I mean, obviously it wasn't. It was my time. Hammer, a few nails, a few bits and bobs here and there. It's lucky I have a sawmill at hand. Yeah, this takes a little bit of time before you can actually drive anywhere. There we go. There's only a 4,000 litre container though. So what I'll do, like I said, I'm going to fill up these little garden plots with water. I'll grab some wheat. Honestly, I don't know whether or not with wheat and water how well this is going to pull. We'll drop the wheat off at the still. The water around to the greenhouses. Oh, pigs as well. So take water to the pigs. Right. You know what? I'm going to do that now. I can come back and do these later on because they're close to where we're staying. Let's do this first. Oh, yeah, we'll do the pigs in the way past. Um, this is, this is a jigsaw puzzle, isn't it? No, pigs then back, then wheat and water, then out to the greenhouses. Yes, so the greenhouses will be last. Let's do pigs now. Can we fill up all the way around this? Or just in one place? There we go. And still more islands to explore. And it's the potential of the whole thing. We know we've got the biogas plant now. So moving forward, we need to do potatoes or sugar beet. One for me, but also to feed the pigs. Problem being, we've got nothing to put potatoes in the ground with. Well, sugar beet would be an easier route, wouldn't it? Maybe. Picking them up might be a little bit trickier. Let's cut. Can we cut down across here? That'll be a bit of a bump, mine. it? Let's give them some water. Was nowhere near full, was it? Nope, another one will fill them up. But again, we can come back and do that later. They have now got some water. So we've given them a bit of feed, we've given them a bit of water. Yes, it's not a huge amount of feed. They've obviously been rooting around for a while anyway without my assistance, but you know what? It's the right thing to do. Okay, we've got 4,000 litres of wheat from the silo. 
It's actually pulling way better than I thought it was going to. Mind you, we're on a very flat part of the ground here. We'll get this done. Next episode then, logs. Log cabin. Toilet. Windmill, probably. Then we can start... Rajoing out. We really do need a boat mod, don't we? Like a little ferry for console. A little ferry mod. That would be absolutely perfect. Yes, it, it was, you know, for general farming simulator, it's, you know, it's it, I suppose, potentially irrelevant. But for storytelling, <laughs> it certainly helps. Although I never thought I'd be doing anything like this. But we are about to sell some crops. Yes, to who? No one in particular. Technically, to me. We're going to put them into the steel and then you know, we'll see what happens from there. Oh yeah, repair of the crawler. Let's get that back over as well. So, this should work. Please work. Oh. Huh. That's a bit worrying. Oh, just wouldn't do it because that was connected. not going to be a huge amount of money. 2,273. Actually, that just covers the cost of the conversion, doesn't it? Right, let's go and get this out to one of the greenhouses. Then I've got some ferrying to do. That's nice ferrying backwards and forwards, not actually on a ferry. You know what? I need to have a look. It seems very odd that I'm trying to remember now. It seems very odd that out where the greenhouses are, there wouldn't be a water point because they're an isolated island. Until now, I've just built that land bridge, so I'm wondering if there's a water point or something out there that I missed. Maybe it wouldn't be the first time. The other thing that struck me as I was driving out here as well was the um, the kind of island concept that anybody else doing anything similar the chance of two people building making, constructing however you want to go about it, landscaping identical maps from this basic this base farm map idea would be incredible if you know the idea may be similar maybe other people are doing similar things but I wouldn't I would be very surprised if, if islands were identical yeah if there's not a water point out here that would seem very odd wouldn't it But it could explain why there's nothing in the greenhouses. If they put them out here and then realised very quickly, we have no way of getting water here. It doesn't look like there is, does it? How very remiss of whoever built these. <clears throat> Not to have put somewhere to get water. There definitely isn't anything, is there? No, there's a water point out on that other island, the first island we found. I wonder if the first settlers here just put it on the wrong island, maybe. 
there's no particular rhyme or reason to which greenhouse I'm doing. I'm just going to go to the first greenhouse. Then what I'll do is I'll check the capacity and then panic about how many trips I'm going to need to do. So this is tomatoes. You can tell by the boxes of potentially rotting tomatoes that are on the floor. There we go. Yes. Let's open that. Let's hop out. How many more trips do we need to do? <laughs> Water fill level. 1,000 litres is 16%. That's not going to last long, is it? This is where I <laughs> drop to my knees and scream, What have I done? What have I done? Okay. Hmm. Maybe if I just dig. But then it's still going to be salt water, isn't it? Maybe, maybe not. Let me just check up here, just in case. There's nothing out that way. I suddenly thought, actually, is there another island? No, there's nothing out that way. Oh dear. Right. Yeah, definitely then. Log cabin. Some way of making power. Toilet facilities. I need to go backwards and forwards doing water for the time being. We need to radio for help. We need to radio for supplies. We need more equipment and machinery. We still have no tractor. So whilst this is quicker, it has got a trailer hitch. I don't mind the trips backwards and forwards, but I'll be honest. You don't want to watch me doing, well, four greenhouses, potentially six loads of water for each one. I need more. Another one for the pigs. I need another three for the little gardens. Yeah. That's a lot of trips backwards and forwards. Anyway. Our island hopping continues. What we will do then... Yeah, like I said, what we're going to do the next one, I've already said. Maybe after that we'll extend out the other way from where we built a land bridge today see what's out that way and we'll go from there once we've got power and we can radio out things will get easier I hope it's always going to be tricky Holmerkra was the same. You think with Holmerkra, how much logging I did off screen. And that was interesting as well, something that dawned on me the other day. There were a few comments left, people saying about the price of lumber here and it was too high and I needed to amend it and adjust it. And that whole kind of idea of, you know, all you're going to do is cut down trees to pay for stuff. Well, yeah. I mean, that's the resource I've got available, so I would. <coughs> Holmerkra, that was, the, it was a logging map. That was what I did. I, I built my entire homestead off the back of logging all the lumber work, work i did and i cut down i can't imagine can't begin to imagine how many trees i cut down on her mercra but that was okay and that's weird isn't it that, that was okay no problem at all but doing it here isn't i don't know i wonder why maybe because it's palm trees you know and i'm decimating a beautiful island I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to cut down too much. Whoa, that wasn't great. But anyway, all that being said, loads more to do. Loads more to come. But we have the water situation sorted, which is great. And another vehicle. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.